All right, I just wanted to quickly show this. I, I wanted to do a quick test. I've got five layers here. I wanted to do a quick test on the line interval, starting from 50 lines per inch, which is very low, and then going up. Next one is 75, 100, 125, and 150. I just wanted to see and show what the difference is between the line interval they're all on the same speed and power so we'll see how that goes okay this time I uh, put them in the right order and added the numbers above so you can see a bit clearer which is which so I'm going to send that one now Yeah, you can see there the difference just by changing the lines per inch. That's all the same speed and the same power, but the darkness is on the amount of lines per inch, so just keep that in mind. I'm going to do the same on a piece of scrap acrylic, and then I can put it under the macro lens and really see what's going on, so that's what I'm going to do now. Okay, I changed the settings for the acrylic. Now they're all 400 speed and 10 power, apart from the cut at the end, and the same line distances. So I'm going to send that now, see what happens now. And yeah, that's how it looks finished. I forgot to reverse it, so really you want to be looking at the other side for my. Right, it's going to be backwards. I'll just wipe this off just so. Let's see it from here. I'll just. You can see there, same effect. I'll go in and show you on the macro to show you how close. I think even at 150, the lines ain't quite touching each other. But yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna row, run one more row underneath so I can get a good comparison from 50 up to. 300 so I'm going to quickly do that okay I just got that one drawn up and it's in there now so I'm going to run that one that starts at 175 up to 300 so I've put the numbers above so it's easy to see and start I'm going to give that one a quick wipe off while it's still on the laser just so you can see. I'm doing nothing special with it. I'm just going to do this and then I'm going to take it in, put it under the macro and just show the difference between these two. You can see under the macro lens this is the 50 lines per inch. You can see how much gaps left. I'll move across to the 75. I'm trying to keep this steady as I can. Let's get that in focus. You can see there the 75, they're still not touching. Go across the 100. The right, uh, the the numbers up the top are actually on a different layer. I can't remember what they were, so don't take any notice of what they are. It's these lines. Well, they look like they're very close to touching, at least on this little screen that I'm looking at. But you can see there, that's the hundred lines per inch. One twenty-five. It looked like that. Well, looking at it with my eyes, I can see a little gap between them. On the camera, maybe it's a bit blown out. I'm going to turn the ISO down a little bit. 
at this one in focus and you can see there still the tiniest gap between I'll get the other and this is the other one starting from 175 nearly there I think those are just on there, just touching there. 225. Yeah, that's, that's at 225. 254. I did that because I believe this is default. So. see much on my screen here but hopefully you can see all right in the video if you can focus then the last of all I've done 300 just to see you can see there hopefully uh, yeah just wanted to show the difference there because it is quite a difference